And here we go. Live from the Hawks Fieldhouse here in Reading Memorial High School. <clears throat> I'm Jim Murphy here with Randall Palm, Wyatt Meyer. On the camera as usual after a couple game absence, uh, Randall. Yeah. Uh, welcome back. Glad it, was to it was tough, Jim. I it know. It was tough. We survived, though. I listened. You guys were great. Big thanks to Bill Benson for filling in. And hey, you did a great job at play-by-play, -play too. Maybe we switch roles yeah. here. I don't know. You I, never know. It was it was great. So uh, tonight's contest, we got the, the six and three Reading Rockets versus the nine and one Wakefield Warriors. Crosstown rivalry here. Two very good teams in a very competitive Middlesex league this year. Yeah, it should be. You know, we'll we'll see this this. Wakefield team, I think, has kind of snuck up on some people this year. I'm not sure their expectations were quite this high, similar to maybe the football team. But, uh, but yeah, they just beat Burlington in the last game, who was, who, who was undefeated in league prior. So really good challenge here for the uh, Rockets. We'll see what happens. Rockets again starting five seniors. Hunter Hayes, Jesse Doherty, Aiden Beckenhuis, Luke Benson, James Murphy, Aiden Beckenhuis. Starts the action here. Looking to be aggressive to Luke Benson. Murph, top of the key, looking for Jesse, hoping to get off hot. Good look. Great look, misses wide. Rebound Wakefield, Wakefield's on the run. Wakefield, a veteran team, three seniors and two juniors in their starting lineup. Number 12, Ethan Margolis, running the point guard duties. 23, Mike Wilkinson with the try, Jesse Doherty the rebound. Both teams getting little kinks out right now. Benson to Doherty. Doherty looking inside to Murphy. Swings it to Beckenhuis. See if they get James involved here. He's got a, definitely a size mismatch here. Murphy being aggressive. Foul on number five, John Porter. Senior captain, number five. Away from the hoop. Rockets will have the ball on the sideline. Number zero, uh, Diari Burton to cover Doherty. Yeah, Jesse's got, looks like four or five inches on him, so we'll see how that plays out. Aiden drawing the point guard duties today. Benson and Murphy manning the elbows. Rockets a little bit of standing still, got to move the ball, move. A little bit more, Doherty looking to penetrate the baseline, up and under move, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Good take by Jesse. Always like seeing him go strong to the basket. Fouls on number five, Porter, his first. You know, I've always said, Randall, you know the game as well as anybody. When you can get to the line early like Jesse did today, get his rhythm. He missed the first there, but he'll get his rhythm. He'll, he'll, he'll see the ball going through the net. Sometimes that's enough to get you off to a hot shooting start. Yeah, yeah they're going to they're gonna need him, right? A couple of the, the earlier games against good teams, they've really focused on him and kind of taken him a little bit out of, out, of, uh, out of his rhythm, right? So it'll be good to get him going early. Uncharacteristic miss by Doherty. Early substitution for the Warriors. Number 34, Matt Beaver, uh, in for Porter. Coach didn't like that early foul for Porter. Here comes Ethan Margolis, covered by Beckenhuis. Let's see who draws first blood here, a minute and a half in the game. Good drive and just in and out. Number 33, Jackson McDermott. Rockets on the move. Murphy aggressively to the hoop, blocked by McDermott. Warriors out running. Good defensive play by Beckenhuis. Both teams have had a couple good looks. There's nothing, nothing going down right now. Doherty, coast to coast, up in and gets his own rebound. Beckenhuis is there. Good second <laughs> effort. It's like there's lift the in the basket on both ends. Yeah, a couple good looks by both teams. Yeah. Nothing falling, still 0-0 with 5.48 left in the first. Aiden Beckenhuis at the line will shoot two. Rocket crowd trickling in. You know, this is one of the last mm. five, uh, 6 p.m. games. Yeah. Typically, they'll get the nightcap here in February. Hopefully, uh, so a little bit better crowd. Beckenhuis, uh, the first one to I, take I, the cover off the hoop, I, uh, makes his first. I, I mentioned there may be a Belmont game. We may, may be doing something special at halftime to draw a few more folks here. Yes. So Jim and I are working on that. So keep an eye out for more info. Aiden Beck's two for two. Rockets take the early lead.
Number 23, Mike Wilkerson. Aggressive move to the hoop. Foul on number 33, Luke Benson, his first. Luke Benson, the Rockets' second leading scorer coming into tonight behind Doherty. Having a nice season for himself. Yeah, he's definitely stepped up and become much more of a leader on this team. It's been fun to watch. High screen for Ethan Margolis. A little pull-up mid-range jumper for two. Ties the game at two apiece. Little three-quarter pressure here by the Warriors. Ooh, they got, they got Luke with a, with a travel. Yeah, I don't think Redding was ready for that. They looked a little off. We'll see if they, next time Wakefield throws that, if they're a little bit more prepared. Questionable call there, but uh, yeah. he got Luke's like that was a foul, but he got Benson with steps. <clears throat> Margolis to McDermott. Number 23, Wilkinson on the drive. Here come the Rockets. Seemed like he was more interested in the contact than actually the shot. High screen and roll, Beckenhaus and Murphy. Hunter Hayes, top of the key. Oh. Another unforced turnover, another travel. I would say another questionable call. Yeah, I didn't really I see I didn't it from see up there. I didn't see either of those two, but <clears throat> especially that one. Okay. Well, sloppy all around here. Rockets, uh, fortunately, this game's tied 2-2 with four minutes left in the first. Funky offensive set by the Warriors with those two, carry. two players. Yeah. The call, <laughs> that ball is stuck on his hip. Warriors with their, sh their first uh, turnover of the night. I think you're right. I'm thinking we need to go move the ball down low here to Murphy, get, yeah. take advantage of that height, that size down low. Murphy drives, puts it up. No good. Benson fights for the rebound. Warriors come away with it. Here comes Burton. 34 Beaver with the three-pointer. No good. Murphy collects the board. With neither team in, a, in much of a rhythm right now. Aiden dribbling the ball. Looks to Jesse. Looks to take top of the key and drains the three-pointer. Jesse Doherty comes into the game averaging 18 points a game. His first bucket of the night is a three ball. A little bit too much room there. A little bit too much height for Jesse. A little bit too much room by the defense. You can see this Margolis sort of makes the thing go. Uh, he's an aggressive player. Good ball handler drives. Here comes Luke Benson. Hayes back to Doherty. Doherty to Bex. Good up fake, kicks it out to Murphy for three. No good. Back the other way comes Margolis. Yeah, look to drive. Hunter Hayes on defending. Good hands by the Rockets. Out of bounds. Wakefield ball. First substitution of the game. 25 sophomore Jack Murphy in the game for Hunter Hayes. A little wrist bandage there. Did he bang his wrist up last yeah, game? I guess or? he fell and banged it up a little bit. <laughs> Another three ball by the Warriors. Beck and Hughes with the rebound. Good Doherty good looking to get inside, cut. puts it up and off the glass, oh. just in and out, halfway down. Good. Nice rebound by, by Burton. I like that little play, get it him inside, he's got a couple inches. Wilkinson looks to drive, kicks it to Beaver, back out to Margolis. Margolis. Wilkinson looking to post up Jack Murphy. Ooh, could be in travel there. Yeah. Let it go. Good ball movement. Good ball movement. Three-pointer is no good. Good scrap for the rebound. Murphy to Beckenhuis. Here come the Rockets. 2.29 left. Rockets early 5-2 lead. Jesse Dory looking to be aggressive on Burton. Little bump, little fade, little... Baby jumper in yep. the lane by Jesse Doherty. It's a little bit too much size for Burton. Rockets jump up 7-2 to two early in this one. Wickfield looking to spread the floor. Shot is missed. High off the glass, out of bounds. Be Rockets ball. 
Coach Paul Morrissey has to be happy with the start early in this game. Rockets are doing their job defensively, and the shots just aren't falling for Wakefield. He's happy with the score, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the only guy to coach right now is is all the happy with the execution, but you know, seven, you know, up by five, first quarter, you'll, you'll take that. Triple handoff to Doherty. Jesse looking to make a move. Drives the dish to Murphy. Up, misses his own rebound. Scrap for the ball. Thrown out of bounds. Wakefield ball. Into the game comes Hayes Littlefield, number 22, in for James Murphy. Hayes is a kid that's kind of earned a little more playing time, right? Yes. Stay, uh, keep James out of foul trouble. He's had a good couple games back to back here, so we'll see. Uh, Look at this funky, this funky set offensively. Yeah. But the guy turned his back. Screen. I've never seen that in basketball. Have you? Watching this game a long time. It's like a. Yeah, it's, it's a. Like a. I don't even know what you call it. Like a staggered. I don't know if it's a screen, but. Whatever. He's got two points off of it. Yep. <laughs> Ethan Margolis with the jumper brings the score. <coughs> Reading seven, Wakefield four with 124 left in the first. Is there, could that be a, an illegal screen? If you're trying to screen the guy with yeah. your butt sticking out and, and, yeah. and not even facing the. Uh, the defender. I'm not sure the referee knew what, what mm. to do with that, but um, interesting. Seven four Rockets. So I don't think this first quarter is going to be sent to the NBA Hall of Fame archives. No. In terms of uh, basketball execution. Aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, a little little sloppy. Um, both teams sort of feeling each other out. But hey, I'd rather be up seven to four than down seven to four against a nine and one team. Yeah, no question about it. I'm interested, you know, the Wakefield, we've seen different teams, and, you know, Burlington comes in, they move the ball, backdoor cuts, you know, dish and drive, aggressive defense. We've seen Watertown, we've seen different teams who all bring something a little different. It's, it, it's hard to get a little pulse on Wakefield, you know, to be 9 and 1. Mm. They're obviously doing a Beat lot of things. a good Burlington right. team, which gave us fits. Yeah. The Rockets will start the, uh, the last minute of the, of the quarter with. Jack Murphy, Luke Benson, Jesse Doherty, Aiden Beckenhuse, Hayes, Littlefield. Little man-to-man, -man, full court. Token pressure. Jesse handling the point guard duties now. <clears throat> Looking to feed Luke Benson at the elbow. Jesse, little pull-up elbow jumper. No good, Burton the rebound. He's going to lead the break. Yeah, Burton likes to get that ball right on his hip, doesn't he? And the referee's been calling travels and, and carries all game, so we'll see how, how that plays out for him. Number four, Declan O'Callaghan in the game for the Warriors is a new face. Ooh, a little bump there. Yeah. Like it. Okay. Right into the game, Declan O'Callaghan. First touch is a three-pointer. Tie ball game. I think Rockets need a little more movement offensively. They're sort of standing around in this 1-4 look, not getting a lot of effective movement. Jack Murph looks to penetrate. Closed off. He kicks to Bex. Aiden with the handoff to Murphy. Jack sees a, sees a lane. Drives. It's stripped. Wakefield comes away with it. Here comes Jackson McDermott. Up to Margolis. Nice drive and score by Mike Wilkinson. Rockets. I'm sorry. The Warriors take a 9-7 advantage to close out that half. Yeah, we 7-2. We had the lead, 7-0 run. Uh, you can really see where the Rockets get in trouble is when they when we had every guy on one side of the court, and it's a little handoff here and there, not a lot of ball movement, not a lot of stretching the defense out, and getting a little more room for guys like Jesse to drive. That we have too, a little bit too much of a cluster on one side, and there's just no room you know, for anyone to go anywhere. So we'll see if they change it up or, or look to make an adjustment there. Yeah, they're running that 1-4 set, which doesn't get a ton of movement. Mm. Trying to get, having trouble getting it into the high post. I, I agree, offensive movement is the key here. Well, so much of basketball now is the spread, right? Getting everyone out, two mm -hmm. guys in the corner, you know, really creating lanes. That Burlington team did a great job of that, right? You know, they, they create space and lanes for everybody. Uh, I think where we get in trouble is when there's no space, shot clock winding down, we force it a little bit, and there's just nowhere to go. Just about to start the second quarter here. Warriors 9, Rockets 7. Again, a nice little spurt by Wakefield there to finish the quarter. Turn a 7-4 to four disadvantage into a 9-7 to seven advantage here to start the, the second. I also love to see, you know, whether it be James or even Hayes, you know, get the ball inside. 
You know, uh, you know, Hayes, you know, catching the ball 30 feet away versus three, I think I'd prefer the three. Leverage his strength to go up inside, get a foul, get an easy bucket. Burton running the point for Wakefield. Dishes to Wilkinson, who looks to drive. Margolis on Hayes. Wakefield has to like this matchup. Driving a nice little pull up by Margolis. Front rim in and out. Good D, though, stayed in front. Yep. Benson Doherty, nice cut by Jack Murph. Up and no foul called. Murphy looking to draw the contact there. Wilkinson on the run and driving a kick to Burton for three. No good. Benson collects the rebound. They're getting some good looks, you know. We'll see it. You know, they'll start push, falling. This push. game changes pretty quick. I think the Rockets need to do a little bit of that themselves. It'll push yeah. the basketball, not, not jog it up the court. Luke Benson for three. No good. Aiden Beckin who's the rebound. Pushes it up and Hinn can't make it. No, no call again. Physical play, no bucket for Beckenhuis. Oh, uh, Here comes Margolis, too easy to the hoop. Wakefield jumps out to an 11 to seven lead. Yeah, got to stop the ball there. Tori looking to make his move. Drives to the hoop, puts it high off the glass. Just in and out, nobody yeah, there for the Redick rebound. Bucket. Margolis looking to, kicks it to Burton. Burton for three. In and out, here comes Beck and he's looking to push. There you go, right there. Good defense by Jackson McDermott. Comes away with the, with the rebound. Yeah, just. Just not a lot of energy. Real you know flat, I mean? real flat. No crowd. You know, this is the type of game, Jim, we've had this in the past where, you know, maybe somebody comes in off the bench, the yeah. spark, you know, whether it be, you know, Jake's coming in, Jack, whoever else. I think we need, you know, someone else here to, 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 to infuse a little bit of energy into this Agreed. team. Agreed. Agreed. We're flat as can be for some reason. Body language is suffering right now. And see if uh, Murphy and Hayes can come back in with a little bit of rest and it's like A good illegal screen <laughs> to James. Yeah, whatever it takes. Something. Murphy and Hayes. Go there. Hayes He's looking go to do there. work. Kicks it out to Jake Palm. Oh, good out. shot. In and out. Jake is not afraid to take that, as you know. And uh, just missed it there. Like his aggressiveness. He's trying to make something happen for sure. Margolis to McDermott. Drives up. Off the glass in it. Jackson McDermott. I don't think we've scored here, Jim, in a, a decent amount. We're stuck on the seven-point mark. Score 13. Wakefield 13, Reading 7. Jake Palm to the dish. Up with the left hand. No good. Here comes Margolis with the rebound. He's going to look to be aggressive. Little Euro step. Left hand up in it. Yeah. Wakefield showing some energy after being down 7-4. to four. Have turned this thing around to 15-7. to seven with 4.44 left in the half. Coach Morrissey calls timeout to see if he can right well, this they're, ship they're somehow. 8-1, eight, nine, eight, one, nine, the, nine, one for a reason, right? And they're not making their threes right now either, right? So they're getting, their buckets are going down. The layups last couple times have gone down. So Rockets got to, you know, this is right now when easy things, give the ball to Jesse, let him work. You know, I think that's where we get into a little bit of trouble. Maintain, you know, the, the integrity of the offense, move the ball, get, get a couple good looks. Yeah, in terms of scoring, Jesse Doherty leading the uh, team with 18.6 points a game, followed by Luke Benson at 11 points a game. Aiden Beckenhuis, 9. James Murphy, 8. So there are some scorers out there. Mm. If they can continue to move the ball and share it and, uh, again, attack and with some energy and then finish. You're right. You know, I think we've had, I don't know, five or six layups that have been right there. Uh, difference right now, w Wakefield's making the layups. We're not, you know. It's, it's, it's a pretty simple game, Jim. Whoever makes the buckets typically mm -hmm. wins. Aiden Beckenhuis, Burton defending. 
High screen by Palm. Doherty looking to penetrate. Good defense by Margolis. He's really getting up in Jesse's grill. Aiden drives, looks to put it up, and a, finally a foul is called on Wakefield. What do you know? What do you know? Number 33, Jackson McDermott with the foul. Take. Bex will go back to the line. Again, being aggressive, you can make, some, make up some points in a hurry on the free throw line, just like Aiden's trying to do here. Makes the first. Wakefield leads by seven. 15 to 8, with 4.26 left in the half. Aiden makes them both, just what the doctor ordered. Mm -hmm. And the Rockets have a chance to defend here with Jake Palm on the point. Defending against Wilkinson. Drives and kicks to Burton. Margolis, top of the key. The Rockets been trying to get, it, trying to get him a little more involved here. Little energy. A little dribble handoff to, to the driver, Wilkinson. Wilkinson Mc, to McDermott. Hunter Hayes on Burton. Good help defense, good team defense there by the Rockets. McDermott there drives, knocked away by Murphy, and here come the Rockets. James drives, Ooh. puts it up. Looks like a foul there. Luke Benson getting set back to check in. I like how the Rockets ran there off a rebound. Yeah. Wilkinson over Palm, no good. Beck and he's the rebound. Dory looks to make his move, drive to the left. Aiden looking to drive again, okay. puts it up and in. Big if bucket by Aiden. Yeah, Bring. if you're going to go in there, he goes in strong, right? You go in there off balance, whatever else. It, you know, that's happened a couple of times. and You're not going to get the call, and, and then they're on the run. Rockets get the lead within four. Burton for three. No good. Hunter Hayes the rebound. Chance to cut it to three or two. Okay. Aiden looks to be aggressive again. Swings it to Palm. Murphy top of the key. Looking to feed Jesse in the post. A little high screen and roll. Aiden again to the basket. This time it's blocked. Here comes Burton. Uh, too easy. He's got two big guys back. Go cut right through him. Wakefield extends the lead back up to six with 2.23 left in the half. Again, a little bit too much standing around by the other four Rockets here as Jesse tries to drive. Hayes to Beck and Hughes. Bex looks to bring it in. Blocked by McDermott. Palm to Doherty. Doherty's going to let it go with the, it. with the shot clock running down. Rebound to Wilkinson. Burton looking to drive on Bex. Wilkinson on Palm. Good help D by Murphy. Good shot blocked by Beckenhuis. The Rockets are off and running. They've got some numbers here. Jesse D, James Murphy with the rebound. Hunter Hayes back to Doherty with a little floater in the lane. Front rims it. His own rebound, up and in. Stuck with that. Third time's a charm. Deficits back to four. Minute left in the half. Big, big minute here, Jim. You know, could go. Agreed. Need to bear down here and get cut this league. Great, great steal by Beck and Hughes. Run with and him. a foul by Margolis. Real good job. Might have been a decent foul, though, right? I mean, they only have, what, two team fouls here? Pretty, very, pretty clean game overall uh, in terms of fouls. Probably stopped the fast break. That might have been in the NBA, or uh, what did they call it? A clear, clear path foul. Clear yeah. path foul. Shea Donahue, number one in the game here. Looking for a minute left in the half. Looking for him to stretch the D a little bit here. We'll see what happens. They definitely need some offense. 17-13. Jake Palm looking to be aggressive. Kicks it back to Bex. Aiden to Jake. Jake to Shea Donahue. Shea looking to drive. Hmm. 
Got numbers. Turns it over. Oh. Wakefield has numbers, and they turn it back <laughs> over themselves. Got a break there, the Rockets did. 30 seconds left, down by four. <clears throat> they, I think they'd want to see Shea right at that three-point line, mm -hmm. ready to shoot versus driving. So no shot clock here. The Rockets will look to play for one shot as we wind down up to about 20 seconds left in the half. Beck and Hughes to Shea Donahue. 12 seconds left. Coach Morrissey yelling some for the high screen by Luke. Aiden will stop and pop. He'll put up the three. It's no good. Shea Donahue there for the rebound. Back up and oh. in. Just missed. 2-1 at the buzzer. McDermott. No good. All right. Wow. I, I don't know what our layup percentage was, but not good for the first half, right? Frankly, both teams, but... Yeah, this isn't uh, North Carolina Duke here, right? But it's uh, still within a, a four-point margin with the Wakefield up 17 to 13. We have a special guest here that's going to join us at halftime here. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome Mr. Steve Algieri, uh, Rockets legend. Oh, thank uh, you very much, Jim. Co covering Reading basketball for how many years, uh, Mr. Algieri? Got too many to tell, but officially 39, yes. Okay, okay. So, Off and on, yes. All right, so you remember back in the day, back in the what, what is considered the good old days with Bill Carroll and, you know, Stephen Lane and Derek Sanford and those guys. Tell us what you remember about those days when the, the Reading Hawks Fieldhouse used to be packed, both sides, standing room only. Well, yeah, back when you were a little shaver back in 1987, yes, we got a big crowd back in uh, that season for Steve Lane and, and even Carl McFad, Derek Sanford, and Mike McGillicuddy, the glory days of Reading basketball, uh, probably the best team uh, that I've seen where they could put up 75 points a night, and that was without a three-point line and no shot clock back then, too. And they routinely would score 75 to 80 points a game. Made it to the state semifinals, right? Except for a, a, an ankle sprain by Steven. Broken foot, Broken I do foot. believe, yeah. yes. That yeah. derailed their hopes. They had, they had a team that could probably could have gone very far. They were Division One that year, and uh, Cambridge Latin was uh, looming um, down the road there. I believe uh, Lance Doughton uh, was the uh, antagonist of, of that uh, Cambridge team. That would have been something to see, but unfortunately, Reddy didn't get there, but it was a great memory. I don't know if you remember uh, a four overtime game, 100 to 99 against Wakefield, which we're seeing here tonight, the descendants of that team. Probably the best Reading sporting event I've seen in uh, 39 years, four overtimes in that iconic final score of 100 to 99. It was against Wakefield, right, ironically? It was against Wakefield, yes. I, I, I remember it well. Mm -hmm. I remember being on the loop of Channel 3 TV, too, right? And they, it's still the, out there. The, the beginning yeah. of Sports Beat, they would play that at the McFadden yeah. layup and, and things like that. That was uh, legendary. The short shorts and um, Steve Harrington, coach of Watertown now, was a Wakefield High star of that team. Yes, Carl McFadden was a starter on that 87 team for Reading. That was uh, good memories. So speaking of Watertown, you've cov covered some other uh, teams within the Middlesex League. From, from what I've seen, there's a lot of parity. Every team, every game we've been in is close. Every team's very competitive. What have you seen out there? Oh, absolutely. There is no buddy in the Middlesex League, Freedom Division or Liberty Division, that can't beat one another. There's no super team. Wakefield's coming in here tonight, I believe, with an 8-1 league record, 9-1 uh, overall, and just beat Burlington by 14 the other night. And it's a four-point game. This is still in play either way. And same thing with Reading. Reading could easily win just about every game and lose almost to anybody except maybe, say, Stoneham or Wilmington, maybe Woburn. But the parity is just uh, such a renowned um, benefit of what makes this Middlesex League so tough. Lexington lost the other night against um, Winchester. So you going into tonight, you have a three-way tie at first place in the Middlesex League Liberty with Reading. Winchester and Lexington, all with six and three league records. That's incredible. And coming off the football season where you don't really see that, a little bit lopsided, a little bit top heavy with the Rockets and, you know, Wakefield in the, in the Liberty Small Division. Um, but it's great to see all teams competitive and all teams coming out firing on all cylinders. Tell me about the first half tonight, Steve. What did you see from the Rockets? What, what, do, you, what do you see for in terms of improvement in the second half? Well, yeah, they got to get a little bit more in the flow in the offense. I think they can shut Wakefield down in the half court. Most of Wakefield's points have come off transition. They've only made one three-pointer. Um, Aiden Beckett has been saving Redding's butt. Um, he's been deadly from the free throw line. I think going back now, it's been like 13 for 13, but he stopped that 13-0 run with, you know, getting to the free throw line. Then he had a, another basket to, you know, get them off the schneid. Um, you know, Jesse, obviously, he's going to draw a lot of attention. Luke Benson's had a great year. He's kind of 
he's kind of come out of nowhere uh, to a degree to be second in the team in scoring. So, I mean, obviously 13 points is kind of a grind of a game, but fortunately Wakefield's only got 17. So maybe some adjustments at the half. Um, maybe don't get out in transition because I think that's how Wakefield's getting in the rim. That Margolis kid, number 12, hit a nice little pull-up. And I think we're going to see a little more. A lot of times you saw I talk about re regression. I think we'll see some progression on Redding's offensive front that this team is far too talented to, to think you're, only, you're going to see another 13-point half. I would not be surprised to see Redding maybe get this game into the 50s. And this is still in play, obviously. A four-point deficit is n by no means over. Yeah, absolutely. One thing to keep an eye on, we have, you know, Beck and Houston Doherty both play a ton of minutes for the Rockets. Hopefully they can find some time to get them a breather in the second half. They do carry a lot of the load minute-wise. Um, tell me about Jesse Doherty. What have you seen from him this year? Where do you think he stands in sort of the, you know, recent history of some of the, the great players in, in a Rocket uniform? Yeah, well, Jesse should be the first um, league MVP Redding's had since Kenny Reed in 2012. Um, outstanding player i th i think probably throughout the league at, at least we can speak Ooh, as that's far an as early the liberty call. liberty is concerned okay. you know we won't talk about cedric uh, rodriguez over there for burlington um but we'll just keep it local with the liberty i think far and away obviously jesse's the man uh, averaging close to 20 a game i think he's coming at 18 and change you know very good all-around player i think obviously you know, the book's out on him. You know, they're, they're in his face. Everything he gets, he earns. Even saw the three that he made today. I mean, that, that was a shooter's three. I mean, the kid was up on him. Jesse just pulled it right in the kid's face and made it. So, I mean, everything he's getting, there's really not a lot of cheapies on him because he's garnering a lot of attention. Um, I'd like to see him, you know, attack a little bit more, get to the line. I mean, he likes to stay out in the perimeter. He's skilled enough to, just to get into the lane and, you know, get to the free throw line. He should be getting, you know, six to eight free throws a game and not just having to be relying on the three-point shot. And speaking of the three-point shot, you're very familiar because your son, Michael, correct me if I'm wrong, all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of Rockets basketball. What was that like covering your son? Well, uh, yeah, Michael did very well. You know, obviously, um, he got the uh, genetics from my in-laws' side who have a lot of uh, lineage with uh, basketball at Somerville and, um, you know, colleges like, you know, Brandeis and Holy Cross, the Perrys. Only thing I brought him was um, the lack of height. Uh, but I, I did give him some access to some gyms that we were able to get in. Thanks to Coach Vaccaro, Tom Zaya, Kim Penny. You know, we could get in and shoot after practice. So, uh, you know, my job was the sports editor and some contacts I did have. Did get Michael a lot of shooting, um, you know, in the winter months that maybe some other kids were not allowed to have. So he was a very prolific shooter. Had a little, uh, you know, genetics that helped him out. But put the time and the effort in. Shootings all work. I mean, Jeff Nelson helped him immensely. But, you know, he wanted it, you know, countless hours out in the driveway. You know, it's a lot of repetition. I mean, uh, Phil Kahn, as you can see with the Burlington team, he has a phrase that says, I can't make you taller, quicker, or stronger, but I, I can make you a shooter. It's all repetition. And, and Michael put the time and the work in. So, you know, credit to him as his, you know, father and also, you know, just as a newspaper guy and a, and a, and a sports reporter, sorry, and, you know, the effort and the work that he succeeded at. That's great. And I see you two often playing uh, golf together at Meadowbrook, and uh, you're, you're both good golfers. How, how's, how's Michael with uh, the Michael, sticks? yeah, it's, it's plays about a 14 handicap, can smoke the ball, obviously can blow it by the old man, which is not hard to do. I'm more of a button run game, but, um, you know, obviously he's a full-time employee now working um, in his criminal justice profession at Mass General. Um, doesn't get out as much as he would like to, obviously, but uh, he's got one more year as a junior golf at Meadowbrook at age 25, so we're trying to work out some time and get him to play. And But, you know, it's a sport he can always play, and that's it's a good father-son dynamic that you can do, um, you know, when you get older, because obviously, you know, you're not going to play a lot of one-on-one -on -one in the driveway, and I'm age 63, almost 64. You know, I'm not going to go to that extreme, but we can certainly compete on the golf course and have a lot of fun, as I'm sure you and James can still do. And on that behalf, and you're still young enough to give him a battle on the court, I'm and don't, sure. Don't forget Jack. Jack whooped me in one-on-one -on -one this year in the backyard for the first time. It was not a proud moment. Well, it was a proud moment, but a sad moment sad for myself moment, losing yes, yes, to my yeah. sophomore. Well, you're, you're starting to approach 50, getting, year old getting there uh, up there. We're all getting older. I do remember you back in the day, obviously. I've been around forever. Quick personal story. I, I can remember going into my, my senior year of high school and looking at the preseason blurbs that they put up about the football team, and you had a comment about me that, yeah, I think you said something like, Jimbo, best QB in the league. And I put that up on my 
bulletin board and it fueled me and, and filled me with confidence. So I just want to say, you know, you've been really good to me over the years and, and good to everybody in this town and covering these sports. So thank you for all you've done and you continue to do for my boys and all the boys in Reading well, and, and girls. Oh, and girls. Thank you very much. It's been a labor of love here in Reading. And I think my, my personal life uh, it joined with my professional life working here, got me a family in town and it, it's been a great ride. Steve, thanks so much, buddy. Enjoy the second half. Thank you, Jim. Okay, great interview with the legendary Steve Algieri of the Daily Times Chronicle. Been covering Rockets basketball, football, hockey for uh, a number of years and had some great insight there, not only in the history of Reading basketball, but what the Rockets need to do in the second half. Randall, yep. uh, you had a chance to absorb and, and think about some things. What are you hoping to see here in the second half? Yeah, I mean, defensively, you know, 17 points. I think you'll take that. You know, 34 points. If they, if they, I think if Wakefield ends this game with 34 points, we probably win by by a few, you know what I mean? So defensively, I think they're, they're doing some really good things. Just offensively, I think we just get stagnant. We don't, you know, moving the ball side. I mean, seventh grade basketball team, we swing the ball, swing the ball. The ball's staying on one side. I love to see them move the ball around, backdoor cuts. When Luke Benton starts getting backdoor cuts for layups, you know, that's when you're doing you, know that they're, right. you know that they're moving the ball well. Rockets, same starting five. We'll, we'll see about James too. I love to see James down low. Definitely has a, a height advantage. Doherty like looking to make a move. Beck and Hughes again to be aggressive. Shows Murphy looks to back down and be physical. Just like you said, got him, got him dragging the pivot foot. Travel turns it over to Wakefield. Yeah, I think for James, just maybe a step or two in there, right? And we can get that post up and, and go up strong versus having to put it on the floor. Of course, Wakefield with Ethan Margolis sort of makes this whole thing go at the point guard spot. Jump shot up and in by number 23, Mike Wilkinson. A little bit of an awkward shot, but you know yeah. he, he's definitely com you know comfortable doing. It. You're getting up and, and over the defender. Backs to Murphy, Murphy to Benson. Ooh, good cut. James with the cut foul on 23, Wilkinson. Number five, Porter back in the game. It's some foul trouble in the first half. Murphy with a nice up fake up and in. Good out of bounds play drawn up by, by Coach Morrissey. Rockets within four, 19 to 15. 6.55 left in the third. Here comes Wakefield. Rebound by Doherty looking to push to Hunter Hayes. Doherty covered by Burton. Looks to drive, spin. Now Beckenhuis to the lane, loses it, turns it over to Wakefield. Yeah, I think that when this becomes Aiden and Jesse driving every time, you know, there's a time and place for it. But when that's the outlet on every every half court set, you know, it just it becomes very predictable for the defense. Here comes Margolis, Aiden Beckenhuis covering the point, high screen and roll. Burton looking to make a move. He slips and falls, loses the ball. Out comes Beckenhuis, and then he loses the ball, saves it to Wakefield, and here come the Warriors. Margolis on the drive, up and in. A couple times where, where Redding hasn't stopped the ball, you know, on the fast break. First things first, you've got to stop the ball. That's two or three times that they've been full court, you know, the same guys taking it all the way to the basket, which is, which is too easy. Wakefield jumps up by six, not... I don't love that call. I thought that was a kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but Margolis will get a chance at a three-point play, and he makes the free throw. Wakefield extends the lead to seven. 6.09 left in the third. Doherty throws it away to Margolis. And Margolis loses it off his foot. Slide, a little bit sloppy play here. Out to Burton, who drives against Murphy. Kicks it out, number 33, with the three-pointer. Wakefield with the rebound. Margolis, time to set and shoot. Misses it. Rockets come away with it. A frantic, sloppy yeah, I missed, yeah. session there. Luke Benson with the drive. High off the rim, his own rebound. He's got that nice, quick shot. Can't get it to go. Jackson McDermott comes away with it. little frantic... 
three minutes here for both teams. Both coaches wanted to settle down a little bit. Porter on Doherty. Out to Wilkinson who buries a three. Good little set play there for him. Wakefield extends the lead to 10. Doherty looking to make a move on Wilkinson. Drives, goes to the left hand, he loses it. Wakefield's on the run. McDermott up and in. Sorry, that was Ethan Margolis and Wakefield showing some energy. Extends that lead to 12 with 4.51 left in the third. Coach Morrissey not thrilled with that stretch. He'll, he'll go to the bench and Tom Trahan, number three, will enter the game. Yeah, I, the Rockets are going to need, again, someone else other than Jesse Naden here to st step up a little bit and score. You see a little bit of limitations of the offense in terms of playmakers. And when you don't have playmakers, you've got to move the ball and put people in positions where they can be successful and are comfortable. And I think that's where, you know, the ball kind of not moving and whatnot just doesn't create enough space for that. I mean, every game where we've, I think, done good thing, you know, Luke scoring, um, one of the other starters is scoring or whatever else. So we'll see if they get back to that. A couple substitutions for the Rockets. As mentioned, uh, Tom Trahan, number three, and Hayes Littlefield, 22, enter the game. Benson, Doherty, and Beckin Hughes. Wakefield will now show a little little three-quarter court I can't tell, pressure. Jim, if, if it doesn't seem like Wakefield's playing great defense, but we've got 15 points. You know, we played against a couple teams put a lot of pressure on the ball. Um, you know, Wakefield plays good, solid defense, but I think it's, it, it's part that and part just the Ro Rockets' offense right now. Trahan, first touch of the game, swings it to Littlefield. Little screen and roll, Jesse will pull up and drain a three. Yeah, they needed that one. They sure did. Cuts the lead to nine, 27 18, 424 left in the third. Big three pointer by Doherty. Porter and Margolis playing a little two man game. Bex, there you go. Great. great anticipation. He's going to drive. Oh, and missed the layup. Expecting some contact, and Margolis backed off of him. And back the other way for an easy bucket. A big four point swing there. Wakefield, 11 point lead. Benson with a little floater. Better cuts, ball movement. Cuts the lead to nine. 29 20 with 339 left. Travel. Got the travel there. They didn't get the travel, but they called the foul on Mike Wilkinson. <clears throat> Not sure who called the timeout there. Timeout white. Coach Morrissey looking to get his, his three starters a rest. Beckin, who's maybe a little fatigue on that mm. layup there that he missed. I think he was expecting some contact. Yeah. Didn't get it. Couldn't quite get get it high enough, but he's played the whole game. Uh, it's an opportunity to get That's some That's like rest. me going up for a layup after a little bit of a run, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, go to, you go to push off and you don't have, quite have that lift that you, you did a little bit earlier. All right, so Reddy's going to have to score here. You know, we'll see if they get a little bit of offense. They brought on, you know, Thomas Tra Trahan, who, who can knock down the three, uh, you know, if it gets an open look. You know, Hayes has been has a little bit of a height advantage here, so we'll see what happens with the with the bench coming in. I like that last possession too, where Luke Benson was mm. aggressive. Yeah, that'll be nice to see him be a threat. With well, a good ball movement, right, and then that creates the lane to drive. Hunter Hayes, uh, sorry Hayes Littlefield into Beckin Hughes, defended by Burton. Littlefield, top of the key, looking for Jesse. Little physical play up top, a little bit of a reach by 34, Matt Beaver. Yeah, only three three total team fouls this, this quarter. Really, very few for the whole game. Rockets trail by nine.
Rockets trying to get a little bit more movement here, running a couple couple screen. Nice cut by Tom Trahan, but even a better block by Wilkerson. Rockets are on the move. Margolis will slow things down and settle the Warriors. Wilkinson looking to make a move on Hunter Hayes. Hard foul by Doherty. He goes hard to the basket, you know. He's got that little pull-up jumper. Puts his head down, and, and uh, he's, he's going to bang into you. Again, Wakefield had a fantastic year on the gridiron. Uh, several of these players, mm. also football players as well. I believe Wilkinson was. I'm he plays like a football player. Yeah, you know? yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. He's built like one. In comes Jake Palm for Luke Benson. Wilkinson makes the, the first. Is looking for something, you know, something a little bit different. Misses the second. Jake Palm collects it. Here come the Rockets. Doherty, little pull up, free throw jumper. Goes long. Good job by Tom Trahan. Hustling for the rebound, but couldn't hang on to it. Warriors ball. Now, now, now Rockets will start to change yeah. things up with a little three quarter pressure here. Warriors break it easily, but sometimes it's enough to just, you know, get yeah. them out of their rhythm a little bit, get them mm -hmm. deeper in the play clock, shot clock. Jackson McDermott looking to make a move on Jake Palm. Good defense by the sophomore. Our goal is for three. No good. Aiden Beck's the rebound. Reading earned that earn that miss. Sure did. Leads 10, minute 50 to go. Rockets down by 10, 30 to 20. Jake Palm looking at Tom Trahan, his first shot of the night. Misses long. Hayes Littlefield with the rebound. He gets bumped by Margolis. Yeah, good job by Aiden to keep it alive. Rockets have been, had success on out-of-bounds plays. They've got some nice ones drawn up. And comes for Declan O'Callaghan. Yeah, you know, we have a little bit of a height advantage with, with his crew. Let's see if we push it inside a little bit, crash the boards here. Hayes Littlefield looking to make a move. Nice, nice move. right handed move in the bucket. That they're all night. Just, they just want. what you're looking for, Randall. Nice inside move. Rockets cut the lead to eight. With his offhand, too. That was a nice move. Funky high screen and roll by the Warriors. Wilkinson looking to move on, Beck and Hughes. Tough Good shot. defense by Aiden. Nice board by Jesse. That's a, that's a shot we'd like them to take. Jake Palm wide open for three. No good, but Hayes. Littlefield's right there with the rebound on the block. Tom Trahan. Nice job. Hustle, hustle points for the board. Yep. Good job by the bench coming in. You know, Jake missed the shot. But good job crashing the board. Just a little bit of change of pace, you know. The, the okay, Jesse's coming up. That's okay. A uh, little discrepancy there in how many fouls they said Jesse has and how many he thinks he has. Hayes Littlefield drives for the bucket. Drives for the bucket. Cuts the lead to six with yeah. just under a minute left to go. He was like, he was so wide open, he didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I'm taking it to the basket. Love it. Big stop here for the Rockets. Cut the lead to six. Good defense by Beck and Houston. He comes away with the rebound. Tom Trahan underneath to Hayes Littlefield. Nice, up Hayes. and in. A nice little spurt off the bench by Hayes Littlefield. Gets the lead to first, four. First crowd involvement of the game, Yeah, Jimmy. a little excitement, a little energy. 20 seconds left in the third. Rockets down by four. Right, big stop here. No shot clock. Funky high screen and roll here by the Warriors. They'll look to keep the ball in Margolis' hands. Guarded by Aiden. Dish to Wilkinson. Foul on yeah, number the, five. The, the guy at the three-point line has his back turned to the, to the ball. I'm not sure it can be a legal screen if you're not even looking at the ball or moving, but... It's funny, the, the offense is almost flipped here, Jim, right? Wakefield's taking these contested, you know, 18-foot jumpers, right? And we're getting layups. That was the opposite the first mm -hmm. half. Mike Wilkinson makes his first. 
Makes them both to extend the Warriors' lead to six. With seven, seven seconds six. left in the quarter. <laughs> Three seconds left in the, in the third here. It looked like Aiden got bumped pretty hard. There is time for the Warriors to get a, a couple of dribbles and a deep, a deep shot here. Rockets will look to pressure the ball here. Try not to allow any easy clear, clear shots with three seconds left. Long pass. Hayes. Little good, field. Oh. Wouldn't that be something if Hayes? <laughs> that would have been a great way for him to end the quarter. Nice spurt by yeah. Hayes. Really good job by the Rockets. I think I think they found a formula there where they can they can maybe do some things inside, get Murphy back in the game, uh, maybe a one-two punch and go big on them. Just something different, right? I mean, you know, so stacked, 13 points and a half. Or, you know, you're not going to do beat anybody scoring 13 points and a half. So we'll see what happens if they go back to the starting lineup here. Good job by the, the a couple guys coming in off the bench. Just with a little more energy. Yep. A little more energy. The other thing, uh, uh, Doherty got a little break. I'm not sure what the discrepancy was on the foul calls there. Yeah. I think they said he had three. He thought he only had two, but he did grab a couple of minutes of rest, which he hasn't been able yeah. to get. Yeah. Uh, that could pay dividends here in the fourth. Well, I always feel like the offense, when he's out too, they, they have to move the ball a little bit. You know, they can't rely on him to bail him out, which it just changes a little bit of the dynamic and, uh, of the offense. Rockets start the fourth with Doherty, Beckenhues, Palm, Littlefield, and Tom Trahan. And it kind of goes unnoticed, but you know, the defense, I mean, Wakefield was not getting good looks there. You know, they're getting, again, 18 foot pull up jumpers, which is, we'll take that all day. And we're getting the rebound, moving the ball. So I think uh, sometimes your defense gets your offense going. Jake Palm looking to pressure. Uh, Margolis here. I, li I like this. I like this change here. Speed him up a little bit. Wilkinson, great def defense by Beckenhus. Forced a tough shot, and here comes Aiden. Tom Trahan looking to be aggressive. Nice Dishes pass. underneath to Hayes Littlefield. Fantastic play. Rockets within four. Nice spark off the bench by Tom Trahan to Hayes Littlefield. And I like the. I like this. Uh, the switch a lot here with Jake trying to harass Margolis a little bit at the point, make things a little bit more uncomfortable for him. And it's pay di paying dividends. Yeah. Paying dividends. I they like just, that. They've sped Wakefield up a little bit, right? Get, just make him a little more uncomfortable in their sets, get him, a, you know, starting a little bit further out. Yeah. Rockets have a chance to cut this lead to, to two, 32-28 with 7.14 left in the fourth. Aiden looking to drive Porter, a little too physical on the perimeter. Five team fouls too for them, Jim. So we're going to be in the one-on-one -on -one pretty quicker. That's a nice way to catch up, you know, keep the clock where Def it's at. Definitely feels like a momentum shift. Mm. I think they're going to run a play here. Look to maybe get the ball to Hunter Hayes on Porter. Palm to Doherty at the elbow. Jesse looking to move to his left. Good catch. Good catch him. Hayes Littlefield. There's the tight end you're looking for, Jim, right there. Huh? Carrying the day right there. Number 22. I believe that's his eighth point of the game. Eighth point of the second half. The Rockets within two. 32 to 30 with 6.30 left. Rockets doing a nice job defensively here, too. Definitely a little bit more energy. Wilkinson with the drive and the dish Good to Porter. Good help, D. Slapped out of bounds. Rocket ball. They have a chance to tie Hayes this thing. He goes and helps. Jesse cuts down. Guy gets in the air. Has nowhere to go. Wakefield staggering a little bit now. Mm. A little bit on their heels. Let's see how they can react to some adversity. Tom Trahan with the three-point wow. opportunity here. Great take. Love got got to love the senior being aggressive in the lane. Lays it up and in. Ties the game for the first time since early in the game. 
You know, and offensively, most of the offense is typically Aiden and Jesse. Right now, it's everybody else. Yeah. You know, which and, and that'll come back around, right? Yeah. And now Wakefield's going to have to respect everybody else, which then frees up Jesse and frees up Aiden for more open looks. Tom Trahan makes the three-point play. Take the lead. 33-32, Rockets' first lead since the early going. I love this Jake Palm, too, out here pressuring Margolis. Ooh, that was a carry. We'll let that one go, though. Why not? Kicks out to three to Jackson McDermott. And Wakefield needed that one. That's their first bucket in a while. Wakefield jumps back up by two, 35-33. Jesse Cullen for the high screen and roll with Hayes. He'll pull up. Misses left. Tom Trahan, another. Oof. Another big Slip. rebound by Trahan. Rockets maintain possession. Jesse's getting a little itchy to shoot, you know, a little itchy to get to get get a bucket. Keep moving the ball. Look at Hayes. Looking down to there. feed Hayes. Looking to feed Hayes. Got a mismatch. Mm. Good cut. Yep. Trahan couldn't finish. Here comes Margolis. Palm defending. Wakefield 35, Reading 33. Wilkinson, another three pointer. It's long. Hayes Littlefield with the rebound. Like Potential over, the back, over the back there by Porter, but nothing called. And, and, and Wakefield maintain, maintains possession. Wilkinson did a nice job. how these out of bounds plays, Jim. You know, we just everybody sag in the middle. <laughs> you know, but it, it seems like there's always a, a bucket there somewhere. Yeah, back to the seventh grade travel team days. Honestly. If you can run a good out of bounds play, you can you can score down here. Porter looking to make a move. Trahan falls. Porter in and out. Nice rebound by Hayes Littlefield. Move the ball. Little field to Trahan. Trahan looks to be aggressive. Put it up. No good. Jake Palm to Darty. Regroup. New shot clock. Wakefield 35, Reading 33. 423 left. Aiden Beckenhus looks to drive. Tom Trahan does not care. He's going to shoot that ball with confidence, and that one was in and out. Good defense by Palm. It's not probably not the shot Wakefield wanted. No. Would not, well, one touch shot there. Palm looking to be aggressive. He drives. Shot is blocked. But they got a foul on thir I believe I, 33. I yeah. Jake takes it a lot to the basket. Never gets a call. I think that one he got it. Yeah, I don't think that's a pretty good block. Little gift. But I've had a couple down the other end. So yeah. I think I think things leaving out in the end. Jake is. Doing a nice job tonight. That's Sophomore makes his first. He's out there for his defense right now, no question about it. Great job. Great, great spurt by Thomas Trahan. Yeah, great energy. Going to the basket, Absolutely. just changing it up, mixing it up. I don't think they expected Wakefield did either for him to be taking it to the basket like he did. Rockets within one. Palm ties it up. Perfect on the season with his free throws. Three for three. There you go. Jake digging in defensively, trying to use uh, athleticism against McDermott. I'm sorry, Margulies. Here's your favorite. Oh, see, that's a, it's that's a, be a crazy foul. screen. It's got to be a foul. I don't know what. I don't think, I don't think if you're playing defense there, you're, if you're the guy who's – you're guarding the guy with his back. I don't think you expect it to be a screen. So you're, screens are not really telling – your teammate screen coming because it doesn't look like a screen's coming and so somehow they get away with that and it, it it's work for him margulies makes his first puts the warriors up by one 36 35 with 345 left in the game he makes his second hmm. 
nowhere to go in that 1-4 set. Yeah, that's kind of how they got stuck in the mud in the first half. Surprised they went back to it, to that set. Oh, that's a cheap call. Ball goes back to the Warriors, up two with 3 uh, 24 left in the game. Rockets could use a little energy here. Yep. Last couple Had possessions. Had some momentum. Yep. Good pass okay. by Margolis to McDermott. Wakefield extends the lead to four. Palm's not afraid. He'll jack one up and he'll make it. A big three-pointer by sophomore Jake Palm. 38, 39, 38, Warriors up by one. A big shot. A little scrum underneath there. I'm not yeah, it was all clean. Beck and Houston, Porter. I'm not sure what the call is, though. I don't know why he stopped the game. A couple, couple of football guys, I'm sure, trying to uh, run each other over. Looks like the Rockets are adding a little token Maybe pressure here. Two, and they go back to Doherty covering Margolis. Green and roll with McDermott. Nice, nice pull-up jump shot. I think it's the first one they've hit in a while. Leads three. Warriors 41, Rockets 38. Jake looking to be aggressive again Good up and take. in. Sophomore adding some value here late. Cuts the lead within one. Need a defensive stop. Ooh. Good D. Margolis kind of trying to keep the ball in his hands. They're looking to go one-on-one -on -one against Beckenhues. Porter at the top of the key, kicks it to Wilkinson. Stumbles a bit. He's going to drive here. He cleared it out for him, ready to help. Takes it in the lane to the right, up and in with the right hand, no good. Hayes Littlefield the rebound. Mm -hmm. 150 left in the game. Rockets down by one. Doherty looks to go. He finds Littlefield. Nice up fake nice up and play. in. Hayes Littlefield. Nice pass by Jesse. Rockets take a lead. 42 41. Much more comfortable this game, you know, around the rim. Margolis with the long three. Doesn't, mit, doesn't hit anything. Maybe this force is when that you one want a your bit. crowd getting on him a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> 42-41, Rockets up by one in the ball. Minute 20 left. Looks like the Warriors are putting some full court pressure Good on. Good battle here by Redding to get back in this one. Two best free throw shooters the Rockets have, Doherty and Beckenhues, should it come to a free throw contest. Aiden looking to move. Jake is feeling his oats today, boy. Drives aggressively. He'll have two shots with a chance to extend the lead for the I Rockets. I think that puts them in, it puts us in the bonus too. So we'll see if that comes, we'll see how that plays out here. Good aggressiveness, you know, you'd like to, you know, you're all coming off the bench, maybe play a little bit cooler, but we'll, we'll take it. As long as you get fouled, you make the free throws, nobody cares. Jake misses the first, Warriors have the ball trailing by one. I'm surprised that wasn't a two-shot foul, Jim. I, I, I was surprised as well. This is that screen. That, that's got to be a moving screen. Margolis looking to go on Benson. Benson, one of the better Rocket defenders. He pulls up and he drains the two-pointer. Rocket uh, Warriors up by one with 40 seconds left in this one. High screen and roll with Hayes Littlefield. Time out by Paul Morrissey. 30 seconds left. Warriors 43, Rockets 42. The two big jumpers by Margulies. You know, Jake was on him for a little bit, shut him down. Two good, nice jump. We haven't, you know, that's, you kind of tip your cap to that. Yeah, he's definitely the one that you want to put the ball yeah. in, in his hands offensively for Wakefield. You know, the Rockets here uh, at halftime, Steve Algieri dubbed Jesse Doherty the Middlesex League MVP this mm. year. Only halfway through, I thought it was a bold call, but mm. I agree with him. Probably going to see the ball go through Doherty, but I, I agree with you. If you, mm. you know, what got us here is 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 touches by right. by Hayes and by Palm and by others. So he doesn't have to do it all. He'll do it within Trahan. the flow of the offense yeah. and, and Tom Trahan as well. I 
again, just to set the stage, um, Warriors were about to run away with this one. Rockets clawed back with some great contributions from some new players like Hayes Littlefield, Tom Trahan, Jake Palm, and they find themselves down two. I'm sorry, down one with 31 seconds left to go in the game. See what we'll see what Coach Morrissey drew up here, Jim. I'm thinking high pick and roll for Aiden. I'm, with I'm, Hayes I like or, to go. I like to go to Hayes in the post. Mm. And let him make some things happen out of the post. He's definitely got a high advantage. Benson swings it to Beckenhuis. Bex to Palm. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Doherty gets the ball. He looks to make his move. Pull up from the elbow. He got it. Big 11 shot. seconds left. Rockets right. take a one point lead. Stop Here ball. comes Margulies. Good D. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Great D. Causes an air ball. And they get a cheap bucket to win. What a heartbreaker for the Rockets. Yeah. Jesse with an incredible elbow jumper to put them up by one. And then great defense on the other end, drawing the air mm. ball. Yeah, but uh, right place, right 20, time 23, for... Mike Wilkinson was in the right place at the right time to put put back that air ball and stick it in for the win for the Warriors. Another great Middlesex League game here. Each each game is better than the next, you know? Yeah, that was one the Rockets were trying to steal, you know, and, and I think they were down. Great comeback. A lot of different kids contributing. Uh, like you said, you know, ended up in Jesse's hands, made a great jumper, and... Uh, you know, on defense, right? Great, force a great shot, got to block out. You know, you got to find your man and block out. Um, didn't happen. Guy got a, a, a quick look for a layup, and that's that's the game. So the Warriors will go to 10-1. and one. The Rockets will fall to 6-4. and four. A lot of good things came out of tonight's game. They were on the verge of getting blown out. They clawed back into it. Good team basketball down the stretch. Contributions from lots of different guys, and uh, that's going to be a tough one to put behind us. But yeah. we're, we're back Friday. Yep. Uh, tough Winchester team here at home. And, um, and we'll look to see if we can bounce back in the Middlesex League. Yeah. Sounds good. For uh, Jim Murphy, he's Randall Palm, Wyatt Meyer. Signing off. Have a great night, everybody.